Hello everyone! As we have covered the new release of Stability AI's Stable Video Diffusion, the news has gone viral on the internet. I decided to search on Reddit and GitHub to learn more about Stable Video Diffusion, and I came across a helpful individual who created a BAT file for the early stage installation of Stable Video Diffusion's web UI. Now let's dive into the installation process. First, I downloaded the file from the GitHub project. You can find the link to the GitHub page in the video description below. After unzipping the file, I found the main folder. Prior to that, I had already downloaded the SVD checkpoint models to save time during this part of the process. Inside the main folder, you'll find the installsdvideo.bat file. For Windows OS users, it's as simple as double-clicking this file to start the installation. The requirements text files are also included, containing the necessary Python components for the system to work. The installation BAT file provides download links for the checkpoint files, but since I had already downloaded the four checkpoint files, I skipped this step. In the command prompt window, I demonstrated the installation progress. The blue text box displayed the progress of downloading the checkpoint models. I skipped this part and moved on to the final step. Once the checkpoint models finish downloading, the installation proceeded to install all the components listed in the requirements text file. You don't need to do anything at this point. Just wait for the installation to finish and the web UI will open up before you. Please note that at the moment, this project only supports image to video generation. So you can generate an image using stable diffusion and then use stable video diffusion to create the video. Great. It seems that we can successfully run this web UI on localhost now. Let's see what we can do. On the web UI page, You'll find a drop-down menu for selecting the model version. Choose your desired model, then click Load Model. It follows a similar concept to Stable Diffusion, where you load checkpoint models. However, the loading process takes a bit longer than Stable Diffusion. Once everything is loaded, you can start by dragging and dropping an image file into the input area. The web UI currently offers image-to-video functionality. You can set the keyframes and frames per second FPS, to determine the video duration. The file path of the output files is displayed, allowing you to retrieve them after processing. However, I advise not to push the limits since the web UI doesn't have memory management at the moment. Towards the end of this video, I'll show you a failure case and the accompanying error message. Currently. I generated a two-second animation, which didn't take too long, comparable to other AI video generators. As you can see, there are more video-related settings such as Sigma, Max CFG scales, and Decode frames, among others. However, you don't need to change many settings since the maximum video duration is only 2 to 6 seconds. With this range, you can generate a single motion or a simple animation video clip. The quality of the animations depends on the initial image used for the image to video feature. One peculiar thing I noticed is that it always stops at 96% for a brief pause before displaying the final outcome on the web UI. I'm not sure if others have experienced the same issue, so let me know if you've encountered it too. Here is the output folder that I have. For each animation video, there is an MP4 file and a folder containing the frames as image files. Additionally, I included another video generated from a CAD image using Stable Diffusion previously. So, give it a try if you have a good hardware setup. Ideally, it's recommended to have 32 gigabytes of RAM. However, after a few generations, I encountered an error message indicating that I had run out of memory. It seems that this web UI is not yet optimized, which is understandable for an early stage project. 
If you encounter an error message or run out of memory, simply close the programs, restart them, or reboot your computer. Lastly, I want to remind you that you can download Checkpoint Models from Hugging Faces Stability AI page. Currently, only the SVD and SVDXT models are available, specifically for image-to-video models. That concludes today's tutorial. If you have any questions or if you try out different AI tools and encounter any scenarios where you need assistance in your workflow, let me know. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Peace out.